Okay, welcome back, APPA convention fans. Um, I'm going to do a quick video here with, uh, just to kind of recap, um, like, seat of my pants video here this morning. Um, very similar IDs video. He just got back, he just got back from the Origins convention. I just got back, um, seems like same exact time from the APPA convention in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia, right outside Atlanta. Um, as always, this was the... I've gone to every one of these since 2005 and um, just to not belabor the point, but um, it's basically like the best four days of the year. It's the, you have to, that's the, uh, something I look forward to every year going. Uh, I've made some tremendous lifelong friends uh, in going to those conventions. Um, you know, it's kind of surreal, you know, getting to, you know, meet uh, John Herson, the uh, owner of APA. You know, as well as, um, you know, Ski Carr, who was, goes back to the 60s, you know, he attends all the conventions also. And it's pretty, pretty amazing seeing that connection to Dick Sites and all the APA history involved there. So, um, so when I went to the, um, let's try this way. Um, so when I, when I went to, um, when I got there on Thursday, we were able to go visit the company uh, we play a little uh, golf in the afternoon, um, some other games. Uh, you go out to dinners. Uh, there's an innovation session on Friday morning at the hotel uh, where uh, there's uh, several presentations on different innovations to all the different app of games. Uh, folks get up and uh, do a presentation on their individual innovations. Um, it's pretty very interesting. Uh, we go out to lunch, we go back to the gun company, um, you get a nice shirt, um, and, uh, so Friday, so Friday, we, uh, afternoon, we conduct the home run derby, so, um, uh, I was using, uh, the 87 Daryl Strawberry car for the new 87 set that just, uh, was reprinted, um, just right off the truck, and I didn't do too well, um, I lost in the first round, I'm just trying to think who I lost to, um, but this guy crushed me. Um, it was Jim Dudley beat me with, uh, I forget what card he was using, but it was a total uh, destruction. Um, next, uh, they played the golf tournament, and I almost won that tournament, actually. Um, came down to a playoff. Uh, I finished at uh, minus two on the, uh, the it was nine-hole tournament. And I lost in a playoff to uh, one of my good friends, John Callis, who ended up winning the tournament. Um, they have also the uh, finals of the national uh, hockey and football tournaments and soccer tournaments were held. Um, so the football and hockey were played on site. The soccer was played a few days before that. I'm not sure who won the soccer, but I know Greg Wells won both the football tournament with the um, 07 Patriots. And Greg Wells also won the hockey national tournament, which was uh, 85, 86 Flyers. He uh, he beat uh, early Gretzky, early 80s Gretzky Oilers in the finals. Um, the, can the tournament itself, the highlight of the week is the actual big um, tournament, baseball tournament held on Saturday. And that's just a tremendous amount of fun. I do have some short videos on my um, channel you guys can look at to kind of give you a feel for what it looks like. Um, I mean, when I go into these tournaments, um, I go into play with a team I, uh, would like playing 10 games with and enjoy rolling for. Um, so this year I just took the 87 Expos cause I just bought them there at the tournament or at the uh, convention, uh, just to see how they do. Plus it'd be a fun team to play. I didn't do too well. I only won three games out of 10 when I tied one. Um, but it was a, still a good time. We had a great group of guys in my division, um, so it's about, I want to say about 60 to 70 guys playing in the tournament. And um, it, a lot of 2019 Astros, which is a really, um, probably one of the best carded teams ever in APA. Uh, so you have a lot of entries of 2019 Astros, but you do get a lot of mix of like uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s teams in it. So, um, you know, some of my... Even though, like, you're almost eliminated towards the very end of the day, um, I was still having fun playing this young guy from New Jersey. He was playing the 97 Mariners. You know, I like the steroid era. And uh, we had a blast, you know, playing head to head. Even though we were both eliminated from contention, it was just the best part about the tournament is 
meeting guys who uh, are similar to you so far as being APA fans, but also um, you know, getting to share like stories, how they got into APA, how they're, you know, what their collection looks like, what kind of projects they do when they're back home and, um, and just making the friends and the camaraderie, the whole thing are really um, the highlight of the whole weekend. Um, so set, ended up, uh, the finals were held on Sunday. That was, uh, between Brian Wells and, uh, one of our, um, convention goers actually, uh, his wife, uh, came and she played in a tournament and she used the 2019 Astros and she actually made it all the way to the finals. Um, so you could see like, it's not just, uh, you know, hardcore. I mean, you don't need to be like a superior 50 year app expert to make the finals. Um, if you're rolling really well and you have a decent team, you can make it. So she, uh, made the finals with the 2019 Astros and, uh, Brian Wells, who, uh, usually takes the 04 Cardinals ended up winning the tournament. Uh, and he was the first, uh, three time winner of the APA tournament. So, uh, he had originally won when he was, I think, 12 years old in 19 or 2003. And he, 20 years later, he won again. And he's almost in his 30s. And he won with the 2004 Astros. So um, good job, Brian. I uh, play a little bit of football with Greg Wells, which is always uh, also surreal. Even though the guys are really a great friend of mine. Um, I see him, you know, throughout the year. Uh, it's still kind of surreal because Greg Wells wrote for the Apple Journal back in the eighties. And, um, you always remember whenever I'm hanging out with him, I think, you know, it's, I just remember those journal articles he was writing. So we played some college football. We were having a good time. Um, you know, every one of these nights that we have during the convention, which it's, it's just all night. We have a lot of beer, a lot of food, good food, a lot of uh, humor, a lot of joking around, a lot of just a lot of great camaraderie, which makes the weekend fantastic. Um, what I would say is if you're thinking of going, definitely it's a welcoming crew. So uh, if you're thinking about going, just make the effort to you know save up your money. It's next year. It's always like the weekend after Father's Day. Uh, make the effort to go and you won't regret it. It's just a really it's a great weekend. So. I wanted to go over real quickly the hall. So one of the best parts about the convention is um, getting going to the Apple store and getting to buy some things off the shelf. Now, uh, you got to be careful because if you're just using a carry-on luggage, you know, when you're flying there, you got to you know, make sure it all fits in your bag. And that's always like the biggest issue I have is you know, I buy a bunch of sets down there and I'm just carrying them back and getting through the security and everything. But I, I made it through okay. I uh, did a little bit of flight delay Sunday night, but I made it home. So this is uh, my second day off, uh, second day back from the convention. So I wanted to go over uh, the hall here. And so I bought um, bought some uh, a new set of markers and dice. Like I really didn't need them. But uh, one thing, the reason I bought these is these, uh, these the shakers are really nice and still like uh, brand new. And the dice look really nice and shiny. So you could see, yeah, it's really nice. Kind of reminds me of going to the convention because they use uh, the app, uh, um, use the uh, new app of dice for the tournament that app issues you to play in a tournament. So I like to have that feel of brand new dice when I come home. So, so that was the first thing I bought. Um, I did buy another set of dice for the soccer team as well. It looks the same for the soccer game as well. So. Um, I got a new app, uh, football field. I, uh, these are only like six bucks. Uh, just because I, I wanted to have a, just a, another field. I taped the other one onto a piece of cardboard. Actually, I glued it. So I wanted to have just one that uh, wasn't uh, glued to another piece of cardboard. Just like I got like straight out of the box looking. Put that aside there. I, same thing, I got a new uh, soccer pitch. The one I did have was kind of wrinkled and bent at the end. So these, again, these are pretty cheap. Uh, he'll sell them to you, like I said, right off the shelf there. So that's good. Um, next thing I got here was uh, this disc. Um, so I'm gonna have to fire up my old laptop to uh, load this up, which has a disc drive. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, email that file over to my new computer that doesn't have a disk drive. And I'll be able to play this. So um, for BBW, 
we got the uh, greatest teams of the, uh, Chicago. So there's a, they have city discs. So what they do is they, um, this is for BBW. So they'll figure out like the best teams in Chicago history. Uh, it could be White Sox and Cubs. And uh, they'll issue them on a uh, disc, like a season disc. I think there's like 10 to 15 teams or something on that. So that'll be fun. I have no idea what teams are on here. So that's going to be pretty fun. That's probably going to be the first thing I do is load this up and take a look. See what Chicago teams came on there. All right. So as you can see, I got a bunch of sets here. We'll look at those in a minute. Um, I always like to buy something that um, when I'm down there is totally unreasonable. Like, uh, like totally, I never... Um, thought of buy just kind of think of something random to buy down there it is, it's kind of fun and what i got was the uh got metro detroit course for um Apple. so uh, pretty sure this is oakland hills um for apple golf we played a lot of apple golf this year for some reason um this turned out this year i was playing a ton of golf down there face to face which was really fun uh the par three torn was a blast i mean we played uh it was on the par three Appa City course, and uh, it was just basic rolls, and we had seven guys going around a table, and we just like bang bang. It was like playing really fast, so it was just a good time. Actually, also got to play the Appa saddle racing game when I was down there in a group setting, and uh, that was a tremendous amount of fun. That was the first time I ever saw the saddle racing game. Let's see, we got Oakland Hills here. An interesting course there. All right, let's put that back. So that's the unreasonable set. So all these other <clears throat> purchases here have some kind of rhyme or reason to them, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, this set, I, this course I got down there too, Central Florida. I've been wanting to get this one for a while because of one hole I wanted to point out on here. Um, the number 18, there was a discussion on the Delphi forums about this particular hole and uh, this number 18 how um if you're short-sided over here on uh, one of these pin positions how like you had to aim um like if you aimed right at like say two and you were short-sided you have to measure your left right forward backwards from the uh, black center line as you can see the black center line puts you right in the hazard so the the what the resolution was is you had to play out here to uh, avoid um, hitting in the hazard. So very, it was a good, interesting discussion. Like I think a couple years ago on about this hole and I've always wanted to get this course for that particular reason. So uh, that's fun to kind of like study up, uh, up, a, up a golf and um, play those holes. So. Okay. That was, uh, so two golf courses, a pitch some dice, Got that there. Um, one of the really nice things about attending the APA convention is you get some access to some sets that are typically um, not available on the store for at least a few weeks. Um, and that's a lot. So this year they had the uh, 80, uh, they, uh, not the 87, that was just real issue, but the uh, 1952 uh, reprint. So they took the original 52 set they put it on modern, like, thick card stock with the 70th anniversary backs. Uh, so that was available down there. Um, one awesome thing was the uh, 92, uh, I'm sorry, the 2022-23 hockey set. Literally, the, the, the first delivery shipment came in um, when I was there on Friday. So that he, he just got it in, and he made it available to the... Uh, convention attendees and um, it's pretty amazing here this uh, this Boston team just to kind of show you guys everybody knows that great Boston um, set so like these cars are ridiculous there's so many five rated defensemen and there's some couple uh, awesome cards like Jacob DeBrusque yeah that's pretty pretty awesome car there in this um David Pastor in that card is pretty nuts too. Uh, Brad Marshawn, five rated 
So a lot of five. Their O day is going to be through the roof. They have five clearings on a defenseman. Uh, this Pasternak card is insane. Five right wing. Um, his shot range plus frequency total 64, whereas, you know, 50 is like an all-star. Uh, you know, 55 to 60 is like one of the all-time great players. And uh, you know, 64 is like through the roof. So this Pasternak card is like really a serious weapon in an Apple hockey game. Uh, and then this uh, this goalie card. I mean, he was forty one and six, or forty and six on the year, uh, all mark. And look at all the saves. I mean, look at all the single digit numbers there, the saves. So I mean, not only do you have to get a shot on your roll with their dealing with their O day reductions, then you have to um, get past your shot range. Then you have to get past that all mark card. So it's pretty pretty nuts. Uh, one other set, set um, what he said, that set's coming out in the store in, I think, a few weeks, he said, to be able to get that. Um, one other set coming out in a few weeks is the uh, 2022 ACC set. Um, so I got that. Um, every fall, I do a pit replay. Um, so moving forward in time, so I start with 2017. And I do, next, this fall, I'm going to be doing 2018. So I buy the ACC set every year. I don't buy the other conferences, but... I do buy the ACC sets every year for those pit replays I do. Um, soccer. So I bought the uh, 2022 EPL, the European um, English Premier League. The um, reason I got this is I didn't have any um, full season sets for soccer um, of EPL. I have a full season of MLS and Bundesliga, but I didn't have one for soccer for English Premier League which I wanted to get so um, I was just playing some soccer before the convention it was a really fun game so I wanted to get another season for that um, let's see what I got here so there's the 2022-23 hockey cards and we got the, the one other hockey set I bought um, this 96-97 set I got too and I was done there because um my first bought at the hockey, it was uh, December of 96. And I remember I was uh, playing a lot of games with that, that set. And um, the I remember watching a lot of like Sunday night hockey on ESPN while I was rolling games. And it was this 96, 97 season was going on. And I did remember I went to a lot of Penguin games that winter, like in January, and February, March. So just to kind of relive, you know, some of those teams and games. A lot of great, great players in here. Next, like Ray Bork, you know, five defense, four clearing. You know, classic Ray Bork card. Don Sweeney, Tim Sweeney, Landon Wilson. It's a lot of good, good, uh, good hockey times going on there. All right, and last purchase. This is actually the one I've really been enjoying looking at. Is this uh, '87 reprint? You know, the '87 um, baseball season is really uh, that was a, a clunker in the APA. Um, let's see what is this? Yeah, in the uh, APA of the teams that they've created because it seemed it was really overcarded, and they really did a good job of redoing this '87 set. Like it was like Jesse Barfield, like George Bell, made a great home run year. And you could tell my voice is kind of beat because, uh, you know, we'd spent a lot of time partying, drinking, and t just talking, just nonstop Appa Chatter, talking. All my friends, you know, a lot of the guys on the YouTube community, like Appa Chatter, Steve Ryan, I uh, spent a lot of time with him. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of great, great times there. So, um, that was a recap. Like I said, I would suggest going, um, a lot of fun things going on down there. And, um, John did a great, um, Q and A about the, you know, what's going on with the company and like what future projects and what they're doing. So that's also on my videos there. Um, so you could take a look at that, but I hope everybody has a good day. Uh, I'm going to sit back. I got one more day of uh, vacation before I have to go back to work tomorrow. So 
I'm going to spend the day looking at these cards, like sorting things out, maybe roll a couple games. And I hope everybody has an awesome week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.